I'm Marley Dawson. I'm an artist living and working on Dutaroa country in regional Australia. Over the last few years, I've been working with Vesela Satenovic, the senior curator of modern and contemporary art at the Phillips, to create an intersections project called Ghosts. Intersections is a program where contemporary artists are invited into the Phillips to work with the collection and the architecture to try and find a moment where their contemporary practice and the collection meet. I focused the project on the very particular arts and crafts styles chairs that have been used throughout the museum since 1985. For me, Ghost draws less on the works in the collection and more on the feeling that you get within the museum. This odd feeling that you get when you're in a space that's an art gallery so intimately meshed with a domestic space. It's the physical buildings that allows us this intimacy to work that you don't normally find too many places. It's got the smells and sounds of a building that was once lived in. The installation consists of three distinct components, with the first being five of the chairs suspended on various axes down the centre of the Go Annex stairwell, as though floating or rotating in space. The chairs in Ghosts are made from 3 16th brass rod, bent and welded into forms. They're replicas of the chairs but lack their original weight and use. The chairs are like outlines of something absent or a wireframe model of something yet to be realised. The other components of the Ghosts installation, two chairs mounted on steel frames that rotate like a globe or a 3D model. They're here to show multiple aspects and angles of the chairs, slowing them down so we can really see something that we normally walk past. Slow motion makes the shapes and shadows they form constantly change and evolve. The final component of Ghosts is a wall-mounted work that references the Morris Lewis work number 182. My work is titled Oscillate Hum and works to speak to the radiance and glow of the Lewis work by oscillating the hundreds of brass rods via a small motor. This constantly changing surface makes the work shimmer in the light. My hope is that ghosts give people a second to pause so that they can stop and see the physical building that houses the Phillips Collection and to try and stop and feel some of the history that makes the experience of the Phillips Collection so unique. Those ghosts of past ideas and directions.